Well, um, the first thing uh, what attracted me to the show were the girls. They were really pretty. I liked that a lot. I liked the period. I liked that a lot too. I liked the cast a lot. It was a wonderful cast, very supportive and uh, really imaginative, and we had a great time doing that. Um, why is it stained all these years? Uh, you know, I think probably because it's, uh, you know, it was the first of its kind. It, technically, it was way ahead of its time. Um, and uh, the loyalty of fans just keep, you know, watching it and supporting it and loving it. And uh, it's given us great opportunity. You know, once a year we meet them and talk with them and all that kind of stuff. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, I liked, I, I, the reason I, I came on board with it is I really liked the idea of the character Gerard uh, being so evil. And I love the fact that he uh, moved in and seduced his best friend's wife after he, I pushed him overboard. <laughs> I think that's the story. Anyway, I, I liked doing that. I liked the idea that it was so evil. And uh, things that I like uh, would try to do was, you know, supported by Dan a lot. He just kept saying, go push more, push more, push more. So, you know, that was, that's the reason I really enjoyed it a lot. I like being bad. Yeah, the head in the box. I like the head in the box too. I just think all the technical aspects of it were really interesting, the way, you know, it was on the cutting edge and really exploratory, and I like that a lot. Um, I, one of the scenes that I particularly like <laughs> was the rising of all the ex-wrestlers that come out of the earth when the Collinwood collapsed and all of that stuff. And of course, it was given the wrong cue, so they kind of went overboard with that. But that was, a, that was quite uh, interesting to watch. Right. I mean, a good percentage of the actors were, you know, all from the theater. And being, you know, somewhat of a live show, you really just had to stand and deliver and uh, go from one set to the next and you know we had a certain amount of time to hit it and that kind of gave a, a little pressure to the the performing but uh, you know we were all were capable because we came from the theater and could handle it and it was really uh, it was an incredible experience. Um, actually I, I was asked by uh, Leela Swift Schwartz to uh, you know, stick around and see what uh, they were going to test some young actresses that were coming on on the show and love interests and stuff like that. And I remember sitting down there, just kind of watching them all. And uh, I guess Kate was about the third one that came on. And I looked at and I thought, I bet you anything they'll take this one because she had a real vulnerability and a, and absolutely beautiful on screen. And sure enough, it happened that way. And it was, uh, it was her first job, and she was real nervous. But, you know, people just really helped her out, and she felt very comfortable within no time at all. And, you know, the rest is history. You know, when you talk, there are a couple of actors that really, I mean, I liked working with all of them. They were all a, a terrific group of people to work for. I think my favorite actor to work for was John Carlin, who is, I think, one of them, you know, a, a great talent. And... Uh, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun, and there were some times where we <laughs> we couldn't keep it together at all. But he was really supportive, and he knew what he was doing. And um, you know, he's great. As a, as a, in the career, I would put it uh, really uh, the, for television. It was really the first step that uh, I had done. One Life to Live and a couple of other TV shows in New York, but. Uh, Dark Shadows was really the one that kind of was the launching pad to, you know, to go on and, and uh, do other things. And even today, you know, people look at the resume and see Dark Shadows and they, oh my God, they, I remember that. And they would talk about it and, you know, it would lead to other work. So it was great. Uh, I it, actually, I, um, I was sent down to the wardrobe to get a, a whole new uh, costume. Uh, several costumes, and I thought the show was going to continue on. And at the time, I was also doing a, a play and uh, another f a film. And then I got word that the you know the show was going off the air. They had killed me, and then they were going to bring me back as another spirit or something like that. So I was really disappointed that they, it was terminated, and uh, it was kind of sad because I wasn't 
really a part of the ending of the show, you know. And of course, we did the movie, so we still all work together, and we see each other as you know often as we can. So, but uh, it was a, a passive time, you know.